Well, morning, folks. Um, I don't know how much of this you can hear either because it's, uh, it's terribly windy. I'm sort of cupping the, the camera here in a minute. Um, camera's doing well. Uh, managed to venture out again. I've actually come to a venue I've never fished before. Uh, in fact, I've never seen it before apart from driving over it. Um, it's uh, Willen Lakes in Milton Keynes. And um, yeah, there's been sort of one or two reports and some, some decent bream coming out of it. So I thought I'd pop over and have a look and give it a go. Um, managed to get hold of one of the bailiffs and uh, speak to him and he sort of gave me a bit of an idea and um, yeah another, another colleague Michael Buckwild has been over here I, I've got noticed so um, I messaged him and he's, he's given me a few pointers of where it's set up so um, anyway it's a huge huge expanse of water um, and uh, yeah apparently it holds some very 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 big bream in here so lots of double figure bream so I think if your tip goes round the chances are it's going to be half decent fish so anyway I've, I've been here a little while um, I've been here probably about an hour now sort of setting up and I've actually managed to sort of do my baiting up um, I've got two lines out there uh, both 45 meters uh, one is a conventional sort of feeder line where I'm going to be fishing sort of my normal sort of worm and uh, corn and maggot and um, yeah my second line that I've got out there is a belly line uh, just to fish a, a method feeder um, so we've you know I've got an assortment of pop ups anyway um, I'm going to sort of point the camera over at the uh, overwhelmed fishing at the swim and uh, obviously the wind's going to blow so I'll try and edit some, some of the blowing out and um, yeah hopefully we can get a few pulls today so this is me today set up this is the venue One thing um, I didn't mention actually, there's, there's two lakes here uh, and they both kind of sort of join up, um, I'm assuming once it fills up with a bit more water, um, but uh, there's a bridge that goes over, one's called the North Lake and one's called the South Lake, I'm actually fishing the South Lake today. Um, but uh, I've not heard many reports of anyone fishing in awful lake to be honest with you. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll give it a go, see if we can get a few pulls. Come back to you soon. So I'll just give you a quick little rundown of me rods and mills as um, people about to ask as they always do. Um, like I said, I've got two rods set up today. Um, they're both now tournament SLRs. mile an hour wind smashing into my face here so you really need to give it a good punch even though it's only 45 meters that's quite a hard chuck with the wind right in your face uh, both the reels are exactly the same they're the um the dower distance tdr's 25 qds um like i say one i've got set up with as you can see just a, a method feeder here just fishing obviously with a, a small pop-up here um, and the other one I've got set up on my box here you can see here, just a standard free running conventional rig coming up to I've got a, a worm and a corn on here for a minute so with a size 14 hook fishing with the uh, matrix cage feeder um, it's, I've got another one here let's undo this yeah so this is the feed I'm using today as you can see it's got the lead right at the end and it looks like a bullet and that's why how it goes through the air reason for that is just purely for giving me casting aid today it's not particularly deep so it's not as though i need it to, to grasp all the bait to get it down to the bottom it's just purely for the the 
the trajectory of, of this type of feeder is, is it's more aerodynamic and it's a lot easier to cast so that's the reason why I'm using this particular feeder today so I may potentially move over to a, a window feeder um, obviously it's very aerodynamic again goes through the air really well um, just to sort of chop it and change and see if that helps with um, obviously with, with getting some bites it's just a different presentation of your bait so anyway like I say I baited up both lines 45 meters um, I've put uh, 10 guru bait up feeders um, out on the um, conventional feeder line just with some ground bait bit of chopped worm um, and some dead reds and a bit of corn and um, on my second line I've just literally fed some pellets out there so some, some micro pellets as you can see I'll just show you my me, me bait selection here um, this is my ground bait as you can see I've actually got some very very small um, micro black pellets in there they're the peg number one pellets it's just peg number one green mayhem uh, ground bait in there mixed with some molasses and I've also got some um, peg number one mayhem f1 natural as well in there it's about a 70 30 mix 70 percent being the um the green as you can see i've got some chop worm there got my dead reds got my corn and then i've got a selection of micro pellets that i prepared last night so and then i've just got some some pop-ups i brought the ringers pop-ups um, they're a very small pop-up and uh, so I just brought a selection of those with me just thought I'd give them um, a go rather than using my normal sort of six mils they're more like a four mil pop-up so anyway right let's give it a cast it's been oh, probably a good sort of half an hour now since uh, I fed it so hopefully might be a few fish settled on there we'll give it a go come back to you in a minute trusty stopwatch for me so I've always got to use that so we know what's going on nice. so we can get a tip to go around Well, a bit of an update um yeah hopefully you can hear me because the wind is horrendous um yeah weather forecast isn't really good today um for sitting out fishing but it's actually should be good for a few bites it's a uh, really strong westerly 20 mile an hour and it's right in my face um so i've got no excuses to get a few bites but it's just not going to be pleasant and i think around about 11 o'clock onwards we're meant to get rain as well so it really is going to be a bit of a grim day weather wise um yeah compared to what we had just over a week ago uh, which was nice sunshine and you know up in the 28 degrees i think it was but um anyway yeah a bit of an update been fishing now for about an hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes um first three casts out there well first cast i had a massive line i went right round, i was thinking whoa here we go and uh, nothing there was a liner next two casts i had just small like liners um but the tip didn't go round fourth cast out there i actually got a bite um and i unfortunately bumped the fish just sort of felt it and bumped off which is you don't really want to be doing that at all so went a little bit quiet after that so i've chopped and changed um 
and then uh, I was like, as you've, you've seen um, I went out on a just a, a maggot combination not on a hair rig um, so yeah triple maggot triple dead maggot and um, yeah the tips gone round into a really nice fish unfortunately it looks like it was foul hooked because um, I lost it and it come back with a small scale on the hook so and with a load of slime on the line so it's, it was definitely a bream and uh, or potentially a tench I suppose meant to be some tension here as well so yeah so that's where we are so far um, like I say straight away I was getting indications and liners that seems to have quieted up now it's not helped bumping the fish and then it's certainly not helped losing the fish so um, but uh, yeah we'll keep plugging away I'll keep um, my casts at the minute um, I was just doing six minute casts I'm now doing eight minute casts so we'll see how we go on if it really dries up then I'll try the method and uh, put a few micros in that and uh, a little wafter and see how we get on with that see if that goes round but um, yeah I'll just keep plugging away and hopefully the tip will go round target today really is a double figure bream because um, there's meant to be plenty of them in here so it'd be really nice if we can get into one so anyway I'll just come back to you soon hopefully playing a double figure bream see you in a bit I refed my line I'm just giving it a rest for about 40 minutes I just decided to go on it with a metal feeder. Yeah, I'm not sure how much you uh, you heard of that while I was playing that fish, but um, yeah, basically after losing that bream, uh, well I'm assuming it was a bream, um, I had nothing out there at all. I, I fished it for about another half an hour, didn't have another pull, not a line or anything. So um, I decided to come off that line, I, I fed it again and put six more guru feeders out there um, with a mixture of just, you know, maggot, chopped worm and corn again. And I come off of it for about three quarters of an hour, 40 minutes, three quarters of an hour, and fished my um, method line, um, which is about sort of, I don't know, 30 degrees to the right, similar distance. Uh, tried different wafters and uh, different pellets, micros in the method feeder itself, and didn't have a touch or anything. So, anyway, after about 45 minutes, I decided I'd, I'd have a little look on me um, conventional line but with me method feeder and what I'd done was me black micro pellets I mixed a few of those in uh, quite heavily with the ground bait um, and put those in a method feeder rather than just pellet and I also put um, on the hook it is a wafter but it's a um, it's a it's a pellet coloured wafter so it's only small it's only four mil so it does look like a pellet yeah and it um, wasn't out there what I suppose about seven minutes I suppose and it went round so that's good so yeah finally had a nice bream very close to double figures I wouldn't like to have said it was but it was very close um, weren't really quite fat enough I don't think but uh, certainly had the size um, but uh, just didn't have the girth I don't think so it would be quite a double figure but yeah probably about eight or nine pound I'd imagine so anyway so I'm really pleased with that uh, not quite mission accomplished yet so let's hope it goes around a few more times and we get a double figure one okay come back to you soon
Once again, not quite a double figure, but still a nice bream. Had a bit of trouble with it there. Obviously got snagged up, it's a weed bed. About, I don't know, 15, 20 meters out there. So, but uh, yeah, managed to get it free and got it in. As you can see, I caught that on the conventional system. Had a couple of more casts on the method. Had a nice liner, um, but uh, that was it after I caught that one. So I've just gone out there on a conventional first cast, just on a couple of dead reds from Wallop. It's gone round after about four minutes, so which was good. Right, gonna go out there against him and get another one. Gone out there again, it's gone round straight away. So, uh, nice couple of fish, where you can see that, you can see that sort of them on, size 14 hook, and a couple of different reds. And a little bit of chop worm in with ground bait into a feeder, so with some dead reds as well. So there's some black carp head thrones in there as well. fish today in this weed bed. a bit of a glimpse of it then I think it's a big tench. Right. I think game over. Well I lost that one. Uh, unfortunately snapped my hook then. I think it was a big tench. Um, I've literally just put a hook <laughs> link on, gone straight out there. I haven't even had a chance to reset my stopwatch and it's gone straight round again. It's not very big this one. No. It's actually a bit bigger than I thought. Yeah, 
that's a nice fish. So you managed to get it over the uh, weed bed for once. It's actually a really nice bream. Yeah, really disappointed. I lost that big tench. It just drove me straight into the weed bed. I still feel it on there, but um, yeah, in the end, my me, me hook length gave way. But um, yeah, I was like, literally must have been out there for about 30 seconds and gone straight round again with that. So hopefully, might have a few more out there. Go again. And it's just gone straight round again. up in that weed again. again now. That's forecast rain on an off all afternoon. But yeah, I've had a really good run of fish in the early afternoon. It's just a shame I've lost a few, obviously in that weed bed. But um, yeah, I've managed to get a few for you guys to have a look at. So, 20 past two now, so I'll probably give it another hour, maybe just over to about half three, and then that'll be me. Hopefully I can have a bit of a summing up in the car where you can hear me a bit better. I'll be back to you in a minute.
they're still coming as you can see it's pouring down with bloody rain absolutely black over there and i can hear thunder rumbling so the tip's still going around so we'll keep going try not get electrocuted i think this could be another tench take line off my line clip then Didn't go into that wee bed again. And they snapped me up. Oh. Yeah, certainly difficult fishing with this wee bed. Yeah, the weather's now. <laughs> certainly against me. Right, well, I might as well put another hook lamp on and cast out there because uh, I don't really want to pack up until this is passed. Never mind, it's two big tench I've lost today. So, we'll go again. Well, I've sat through some storms before, but this is wow. Dumb it out, great big house stones. Yeah, it's kind of um, absolutely saturated everything. Lightning going off everywhere. Just got to see it out and uh, yeah, I hope it passes fairly soon. I can find dry a few bits and bobs out. Anyway, I'm going to try and stick the hood up. See if I can catch another one. If I'd have known it was going to be this bad, I'd have packed up earlier. The annoying thing is, over there I can see all clear sky. Now, I've just been a bit unfortunate to catch one of these nasty ones. I see blue sky over to me right. Look right over the top of me is this storm. Let's just hope it's going to end soon. Still getting them on a triple maggot. I can't see what the blooming hell I'm doing because I had to take my glasses off because of the rain. I've fished through some storms in my time, but that's got to be up there with. Uh... Oh. That's got to be up there with one of the worst. Right. Take them off.
Set my stopwatch. Oh dear. Yeah, it's been great fishing this afternoon, but horrendous weather. It's really sort of put a mockers on it. Oh, look at that. Straight away. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, I mean, it's absolutely solid out there at the minute. Still got ground bait in the feeder, believe it or not. <laughs> That's how quick it went round. Rain's still coming, and the fish is still coming. There you go. Another nice willow for you. been some afternoon this horrendous weather but amazing fishing I thought the storm was breaking but I literally just carried on going so I can see a bit of a break over there I'm hoping that this is going to pass and it'll start clearing up let's keep going well, I think I've got another tension it's all my line out and I could take my line clip off. It's just gone solid again. Oh, I'm going to save your battery. See if I can get him out. Oh dear. Right. Let's snap me hook length. Hook's gone. Thought I'd got it because it started to come free, but obviously it uh, fish had gone. So I'm going to start packing up while well, I've got a bit of a dry spell. Gonna stick my method out there just while I'm doing it, just in case. <laughs> and I'll start packing away. Now, those tents have done me today. I don't know how many of them I've lost in that weed, and I've lost quite a few bream. But uh, no, it's been hard work that weed bed. Anyway, I'll go out there again with a the method and I'll start packing away. If I get one, I'll come back to you. If not, I'll see you back at the car. <laughs> the other rod away. Got one on the method. It really is just solid fish out there. Hold one up when it's not raining. Hop back. Well, I didn't get very far. He's trying to pack away. He's gone round almost straight away, which it feels like one of these mad tents again. Look. Can't get any line on it at all. Oh, yes. That 
is going to be that. I ain't casting out anymore. And I went in a cat. Just one more tent. And these are beautiful tents. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Just got my hook length out. Another hook length inside it. Here we go. Got a funny feeling. That's one I lost earlier. There we go. What a way to end the day. That last one. Put it back. Hi guys. Well, well, well <laughs> almost speechless again. An unbelievable session in unbelievable weather. I can't, can't ever remember fishing in a storm quite as bad as that. You know, I've got lightning and thunder and hailstones and driving rain. But I also can't remember having two red letter days as quick in concession as what I've just recently had. Massive weight at Ferry Meadows, 210 pound plus. And I've just been sat in the car trying to work out how many fish I caught. And I think I caught about 26 fish. Give or take one or two. But we say 26, could have been 27, it might have been 25. Uh, averaging uh, between sort of 10 and 7 pound. So averaging about eight, eight and a half pound. Once again, well over 200 pound. So, yeah, an unbelievable weight of fish. And uh, never seen a place before, which is even more spectacular. So, appreciate Martha Buckwilder putting me in the right area. But I really think that uh, it was down to this storm, I think, really, because the months that kind of just started kicking in, around about one o'clock ish, started getting darker. Fish got on it, and they were just, yeah, really on it. Yeah, I want to get onto soft. I'm fairly speechless. So, um, I caught nearly all the fish on dead reds. Um, hardly had any fish on anything else um, and even at the end when I put my method out I stuck a couple of dead reds on it uh, and it, it went round you know a couple of times and it was really, it was really good to finish on a tent because they'd really done me all day long so I was uh, yeah I was quite pleased that I finished on the tent so I reckon I lost 10 fish might have even been more than that once again give or take one or two so yeah it could have even been a, a bigger weight Fished a little bit longer than what I probably would have done, so there's probably a few fish in there that I probably wouldn't have got um, if I'd have packed up at be normal sort of time, about half three. But there was no way I was packing up in the middle of that storm. So, anyway guys, listen, I'm rambling on. I'm still in shock a little bit really from the day. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I've certainly enjoyed fishing it. Um, I've got a mammoth task of trying to dry everything out now, so when I get home but um, if you've enjoyed the video please hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber I really would like to get my subscribers up I seem to get loads and loads and loads of views and I really 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 do appreciate that so thanks ever so much for the people that view my videos but I need to try and convert those into subscriptions for people to subscribe that way whenever I do a video you just get a, 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 an indication come up on your phone or whatever just to let you know that posted another video so you're not going to miss any more videos like this so yeah so please hit subscribe if you can so once again thanks ever so much for watching really do appreciate it and i uh, hope to see you in a swim sometime